Alrighty. <clears throat> I watched a video on Reaper Hunter talking about uh, some stuff. Now, Brozyme. There you go. Uh, right there. Reaper Hunter wanted to know when and how Warframe got this bad. Okay, um, how? Reaper Hunter, you want an answer? Yeah, your video was three months ago. Okay, I, yeah, sure. I just saw it, you know, just a few minutes ago prior to me recording this. How? Two little words that equate to a name. Torolf Yernstrom. Torolf Yernstrom. That's the name you need to research, Reaper Hunter. That's the name that led to what's going on in your video three months ago and this video right now. And right about there. These fucking materials that you would need to spend to start the repair. So, your options are 50 platinum for a rush repair drone, or hours. So many tens of hours of resources for one item. Now, any what he just said is part of Turulf Yernstrom's speech on how to turn the player into a payer. Let your payer, your your sheeple, let them know that they have the option to pay to win or to grind for the resources required to win or to get lucky with RNG to win. Continuing with the same point Brozine is making using the synonyms he is using in conjunction with the knowledge I've just given you. Anyone that has farmed for platinum in Warframe knows that the value proposition on that is that you could farm triple the amount of platinum necessary in a hundred of the time needed to get these resources. And it is really dreadful and it feels super fucking pay to win. Like I know you can farm Bros I'm even just said it feels pay to win. Oh wait, wait. His video was three months ago. Same time for Reaper Hunter's video. Hey hey, Reaper Hunter, baby, sweetheart, Google. When it happened in the grand scheme of things, it's completely fucking irrelevant. But here, just for you, baby, sweetheart, Bubsies, just for you, you poor deluded thing, just for you, I'm gonna let you know the exact fucking second, the exact fucking second that it became evident. And you can go back and see the exact fucking second that it happened for yourself. Just use the Wayback Machine, baby. It's a beautiful fucking thing. I don't have to explain jack shit. What you're going to want to do is you're going to want to look for a, uh, a fence painting. I know, I know. Just, just bear with me. A commercial where two assholes are painting a fence. One's doing it with a brush and the other's doing it with a spray can and it's uh it's DE versus uh <laughs> dig this shit they're comparing Warframe to Destiny yeah that was um the time that video went public that commercial that was the exact second that this happened because that's when it went public that's when it became your problem. And that was way past three months ago. I promise you that. So, uh, Reaper Hunter, baby, sweetheart, boobala, that's the when and the how. Torof Yarnstrom 
circa of whenever the fuck that commercial came out. And it, and Brozyme, <laughs> you're starting to notice this? I noticed this over a year ago when it fucking happened. Yeah, a fucking year ago. Dig that shit. When it fucking happened. Because I'm not some brain-dead, fucking mindless zombie slave sheeple like the rest of you. You want proof to um, what I'm saying? Well, here's a few things you might want to research. Yeah, I know. Yeah, shut the fuck up. Researching from various sources and taking information from more than just one source will make you a more well-rounded individual and that's the exact same speech that Iroh gave Zuko in Avatar The Last Airbender. So, listen the fuck up, plebeian sheeple fucks. I'm gonna learn your ass something today. Look up learned helplessness. Psychological paperwork on that one. Look it up. For those of you who are uh, snowflake faggots, you're not going to want to YouTube that one. They took puppies and uh, used electroshock therapy from the time of birth to uh, program these dogs to have learned helplessness. That's exactly what you all have with your governments in charge. And uh, all if null. Yeah, look up that one. That's a mathematic term. It'll help you understand how all these psychology things apply to this small thing known as uh, your individual video game. It applies to the industry as a whole. It also applies to each individual game and each individual person playing that game. All if null. And then Toral Yernstrom. All that shit that he threw out, his entire series of speeches that went on YouTube in 2013, 2014, that people ignored. Yeah, look that the fuck up. Um... Herd mentality. Yeah, that's another one. Uh, psychology uh, 102. <laughs> <clears throat> Let's see. There's, uh, there's a few more. What the fuck were those? Mm. There's so much. Because psychology is just the latest religion that humanity uses to fuck itself over. It's the long it's the latest tool in a line of tools for the assholes in charge to say we're better than you. Oh yeah, yeah this uh you went to see a psychiatrist, a psychologist? Okay, you got problems. Me? I don't I don't got problems. Yeah, I act the same fucking way you do. I act like I'm better than anyone else. I I spit it on people. I cuss at them. I I call them fucking bitches just like you do, but yeah, I don't have your problems. That's how psychology works. It's a, it's a psycho fuck fuck you. You went and got tested, so you have the problem. While the the assholes in charge, they have the same fucking symptoms you have, yet where's their fucking problem? So there you go. Herd mentality. All if null. Tour of Yernstrom. RNG. Pay to win. Or as uh, Jim Sterling says, fee to pay. Because there is no winning when it becomes fee to pay. And that is exactly what happened a year ago. Actually, over a year ago, but time is a fucking joke to me. Because history repeats itself. In humanity, you're too fucking stupid, dumb, ignorant, and naive to listen. To, to stop this circle jerk fallacy of you're better than everyone else around you. <laughs> Prove me wrong. Because you're not going to. 
you're you're gonna be the same bitch as you always are. But anyway, yeah, Reaper Hunter, Brozyme. Those few things I mentioned. That'll help you understand well, about that much more out of the um, the whole planet size scale in comparison to what's actually going on. It'll help you understand just, you know, a teeny smidgen extra of what's really going on. And if you really want to go further with it, hit me the fuck up. I'll explain it. everything as, as in detail as I possibly can. <clears throat> to the best of my choiceful, limited knowledge of the situation, because there's some things I don't even fucking want to know. After seeing the surface level of how fucked it is, I don't even want to know what's beneath the surface. If it looks like the shit that I've uh, seen it as... As another YouTuber, Canadian Genius, AVE, says, If it looks like shit, tastes like shit, spit it out. It's probably shit. He's probably got a few extra if-then, if-then-so statements in there, but same fucking diff. Don't argue the semantics. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah that's another one. Semantics. Yeah, Reaper Hunter, Brozyme, look up semantics as well. Don't just go over the uh, the notes that someone else will tell you. Go over their notes, plus the the resource material, the 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 fucking short notes for dummies version. Buy the actual source material yourself. It's going to cost you a few hundred dollars. Buy the actual resource material yourself. It's going to cost you a few hundred dollars. Make your own fucking notes. Compare your notes to the short notes. And see what's the same and what's the difference. And then compare those two to other people's notes. See what's the same and what's the difference. And look up those synonyms. Don't forget, always cross-reference those synonyms and the context in which they are used. Because synonyms are like a virus. They propagate and they breed. And then all of a sudden, after they've gone from one person to the next, to the other, They've become an antonym. A complete fucking lie. Synonyms are a very dangerous thing. So if you're going to say something to me, be very clear, be very concise. Especially if you're not using your tone of voice and your psychological inflections of your own personality traits. Then... If it's just text on a screen or uh, an email or something like that, be extremely precise and concise as to what you say and what you mean and try to match up those two things because they are completely different things. What you say and what you mean need to be matched up as perfectly as possible given the horrid limitations and boundaries of American English and the horrible problem of synonyms. I may have forgotten some uh, research topics, but what I've stated is more than enough to form a decent basis of psychological tools to break down and analyze your current situation and the possibilities thereof. Now until next time, fuck right off. <laughs>